previously on Two Texans Travel. We go back in time and hike through giant boulders that were launched 50 miles through the air by volcanic eruption and drive up 6,000 feet in the snow to see the world's clearest lake. Strength tests. Once again, we are moving campgrounds. We don't know where we're going today, actually. We are leaving Joseph Stewart State Park here outside of Crater Lake National Park in Oregon, and we have had no service, therefore, no ability to book another campground or look any up. We really need to get to an RV park so we can do some laundry. It's getting dire over here. I think Mark is on his last pair of underwear today. <laughs> so we need to get some laundry done. It'd be better if we hit an RV park because it's all in one, but we could hit a laundromat and there's another state park not too far from here that we could stay at. So we have a couple of options or ideas, but we don't know where we're going. So we're just gonna head that way heads back south. We also don't know that in the master plan whether we're going to go back to the coast and go into California or try to head back toward Texas. So we have some big decisions to make and hopefully we don't get caught in any snowstorms or anything on the basis of this, those decisions. But anyway, that is the update for this morning. Heading out. Had a great week here near Crater. Saw some really neat geological features. <laughs> Any words? What? Any words? Enjoy my time here. It was good. Beautiful. Sweet. Yeah. We don't know where we're going. I'm sure you already said yeah. that, but it was a good time here. It was a good week. I like spending seven days. So. Yes. Absolutely. And we got to see Crater. Yes, we did. Yesterday we made it happen. Happened. So that's all. Just going to put it up. Finish it up out here getting everything tightened up, buttoned up, so we can head out. Okay. Got a new driver. Driving the trailer to the dump station. Good job. So just go park behind the RPI. Goodbye, Joseph Stewart Campground in Oregon. Adios. We are headed to Medford <laughs> to try to get some service and figure out what we're doing.
What is going on right now? Oh my gosh, we have five bars of service. T-Mobile, way to go. Oh, You're in Oregon. It's on. <laughs> Been without service for like, I'd say 11 days. Yeah. Um, only getting it in town way far away from where we've been. So yeah. we're pretty stoked. We just arrived to this park called Valley of the Rogue. Right here. Pulled in here, found a spot, and we get it for one night. Because it is pretty packed out here. Right outside our window. That water flowing back there. You can kind of hear it uh, in addition to the highway noise of I-5 in Oregon because this parks right off the interstate. So to be expected that it would be full. It has a sewer hookup, which none of the state parks that we've been at previously have had a sewer hookup. Like, see, he's pretty far away. And they're pretty far away. Like in an RV park, <laughs> cut that in half or more. So all in all, good choice. But the only bummer is we're here from one night. Good news is we have a bar, five bars apparently, of service to be able to plan what we're going to do next. So that is what we're going to do tonight. Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to give you a little update about what's going on today. Stay put, Skipper. So how these state parks work is you can reserve only the day, the next day. So that means you can get online and book a reservation for like tomorrow, let's say, through whatever for a site that's open. But if you're just passing by, they have one night only spots and they identify with a sticker on the post. So we actually need to find one of these one night only spots. We've been in this spot for like three days. We reserved it online, but due to the timing of when we can get into the next state park, we have to find a one night only spot in this park. We have to pack up, move, one spot over essentially or whatever whatever spot we find just move somewhere in this park and then set everything back up so it's pretty awesome isn't it and we didn't show you because we forgot and we were in quite a hurry is we got here tuesday and we were just winging it found a one night only spot and someone had to reserve that spot for the next day so we actually had to re reserve this spot online move to it. So this will be our third time moving in this park or setting up in this park, which is pretty nuts. We've never done that before, but luckily it's a pretty easy process and gets us more practice breaking down and setting up. We should time ourselves one day when we actually don't vlog in the middle of it. We have quite a few campers leaving, but you know, you got to look at the sticker on the sign to see whether it is reserved or one night only like ours here. Someone has reserved it. Someone has reserved it for tonight. So we cannot stay in this spot. We have to get out. We've been holding back a little secret from you guys. Um, Mark's just slowly deteriorating. <laughs> I just need what? to point out what he's wearing and what he has been wearing for the past several days. I haven't shown the camera a lot lately just because it's been sad to watch but um <laughs> you can't even he just doesn't even button it okay appropriately. I, I just now noticed that okay one it's just nice and mis -but misaligned buttons hey i uh, am comfortable what shirt is even in here that is uh walmart palm trees <laughs> and pink glasses pink glasses Oh man. This is yeah. this is how we do. This, this is, is we... our today is our fourth wedding anniversary. And we're spending it moving <laughs> <laughs> loading up the trailer. I just and got then... through dumping our poop. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately unloading the trailer. Yay. Uh that is how we do it in this life. 
We'll do a circle and then figure out which spot we want. And then we'll undo everything that we just did. Sound good? Sound good. Awesome. Just loves to chill in the sun. We made it. That's probably our shortest commute. Yeah. register at your campsite. Easy peasy. Creeper. There's a creeper <laughs> right there. Creeper. <laughs> I'm disconnecting the truck. We just hooked it up about yes. five minutes ago. We're undoing everything we just did. Yes. Later losers. Yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> we have a couple of things we need to do. The first is get ourselves a propane refill. We ran one tank out of propane. We believe running the furnace is eating up our propane a lot faster than usual. So we need to find a place that refills propane. And the second is definitely not so fun. Our toilet is leaking water out the back and we think we need to remove the entire toilet and replace the water valve because water occasionally will shoot out of the top of it. So at least it's fresh water. And since we're near a big town, we figured we better get the part and then find a day to take the toilet off. Um, Looking forward to that. Yes, should be great fun and we will try to video as much as we can of that fiasco. So we'll catch up with you later. Hi, we made it to the RV supply store here in Medford and we are going to go in and try to find our part. I'm a genius. We got the toilet part and propane refilled at the same Nice. So I'm gonna move the truck over and pick up the propane bottle. Propane check. Ooh. Two birds with one stone right here. Heck yeah. Just in your sun. Got it. Dude, I think we lucked out. Yes, we did. Uh. So $17 for the propane by the way, 7 gallons exactly. Here is our water valve. Hopefully. We kind of took pictures of the back of the toilet and are hoping for the best. She said it was the only she one was that like, looks like that, but... She was like, I can't help you if you don't have mall number and, our, I don't know, part number. Right. It's like, well, let me just go look at them in the back. So. Uh, we're not doing this today, but we have it with us for when we do have the chance. Yes. Cool. Thoughts on fall? I like fall. I've never got to experience this much fall before. It's just so pretty all around us. just a tiny bit strange entering Valley of the Rogue State Park you go through a rest stop but if you keep going through the rest stop you'll find the campground a little bit of transient people I just yes. learned that word for using instead of homeless so transients yes. yeah. but they stick to this side so yeah. the campgrounds way back in here 
or little secret uh, here um f loop apparently well f loop is completely empty right now <laughs> for good reason apparently okay. the transients are chilling in f loop and they take up the bathrooms and kind of all over the place so we are happy we have not had to venture into f loop um we are in d loop that is the only loop other loop that's open besides a which i think is only tents here's our loop and we will show you see how the pretty fall leaves and color just falling Thanks, off there yes. that's funny. there's the booth that i took you to he demands to be on camera hey ah, this one's still, still open, open. So that was the that's the only spot left yep. oh this one switched to one night only I bet he didn't freaking change his signs. We need to look. I'm gonna see if there's any other. Not that our sign's bad, but we were at. We'll show you which site we were at initially. It's just so pretty in here with all the colors. It's kind of hard to tell with the sunlight blaring through, but you get the idea. You see where that army green leaves. bus is? That's where we that's were. Where we, were we were along first. the river at first. D18, that's a good spot if yep. you want it. And then our second spot was... That's where this red truck is. Yeah, right there. D27. Got it all set up. And our third and <laughs> final spot, we just wanted to feel out everything, is right there. Bye from the fam. Look, we're all in it. Peace. Up next on Two Texans Travel, we move our tiny home back to the Oregon coast. Just cheers. cheers. Like and subscribe. Damn it. <laughs> Don't say damn it, you can still use it. Okay. Try move from right there to literally just ride down the road to right here <laughs> we made it that's probably our shortest commute yeah because i think our other commute that we did on the back side we need to show you where we Plus moved from back corner of this d18. park d18 to d27 over here so this one was even shorter I didn't think it was possible when we did it. So. <laughs> longest drive. The longest drive, man. Like, I'm worn out from that journey. Yeah. What are you doing? Disconnecting again. We just hooked up. Now I'm disconnecting. Wow. <laughs> Fixing the tripod legs. What are you doing again? Are you going to video me or are you. <laughs> you want to start over? What are you doing again? I'm disconnecting the truck. Sweep, because it gets all over your kitchen, your bathroom, your bedroom, and your living area in about four seconds, because it's only in 200 square feet. Love sweeping. Sure. I like how you smash the uh, mic when you do that. Focus. Focus. Thumbnail. That was Table Rock back there. Wow. <laughs> was zoomed so far in on my face. <laughs> there we go. The other loop had uh, blockages. Shut That's down right. their sewer system because of blockages. Ew. But the Gross. dump station they closed during the winter because everything freezes and poopsicles get everywhere. <laughs> 
So here is our, speaking of dump station, it smells like a dump station. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, what is that? Is that you, Skipper? Probably Skipper. Gosh. Did you not go to the bathroom properly? Wow. So many leaves just falling off the trees. But the leaf blower just like this. Yeah. They just get to blow leaves all the time. That's what they do around here all day. Park, park hosts. hosts. They just put on their leaf blowers and they just blow leaves all freaking day. I've got enough and it's never ending work. Almost. Roll over. <laughs> Roll over. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good Make boy. Make him sit. Wait. Or wait. Go get it. Good job. He is back in his hobo gear. Filming him. Did he get his buttons correct this time? He's moving too fast, I can't tell. I think he got his buttons right. <laughs> Caught me. I can barely see you. Caught me. We just got pounded by about. 50 acorns. <laughs> it was raining acorns. It was literally raining acorns. Insurance? 